What's going on everybody and welcome into another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up. We're talking the championship weekend DFS studs here on the FanDuel channel. I'm Ryan Williams. You can find me on Twitter at RyanAlexander underscore W and I'm here to give you the three DFS studs that I'm targeting for for my lineups on Sunday and I think you guys should too. Guys, before we get into the plays, just want to appreciate you know you guys again one last time for rocking along with us. It's been a fun ride all season long. Happy to get after it. with you guys happy for all the interactions that we're seeing on the youtube channel if you guys haven't already done so subscribe to the youtube channel you won't regret it make sure you're interacting with the videos you can hit that thumbs up button on the videos that you like we appreciate that also hit that notification bell so you can get every time that we go live we got some fun content planned for you guys in the off season as we prepare for the end of the season getting into the super bowl uh, got to talk about that right getting the prop bets in and then also as we get into draft prep um, and getting into the 2022 season it's going to be a fun ride guys so we appreciate that uh without further ado let's talk about the plays for championship weekend we got to start it off as we always do at the quarterback position and we're going to talk about the boy patrick mahomes absolutely incredible mr 13 seconds himself I, you know listen the regular season went the way that it did but when it comes down to crunch time the numbers in november numbers in december getting the home playoff games uh the the streak that they're on as far as winning home playoff games absolutely incredible i believe six straight there and, and he's just you know putting the league on notice you're looking at 782 passing yards to go along with eight passing touchdowns in this in this postseason thus far only two games oh and by the way add in a rushing touchdown that this guy had last week against buffalo who was the best passing defense uh in the league that we had seen and it just doesn't matter this team is just you know on a mission to get back to the promised land there in the super bowl no tom brady on the other side so i think they they're they're keeping their eye on the prize and and we're looking at this slate here yes patrick mahomes is eighty eight hundred dollars but he just has a chance to put the slate out of reach you know, Matthew Stafford, he's going to have a tough go against San Fran and those and those boys. Joey B on the other side. If Tyron Matthews out, I think hopefully we get Joey B to kind of keep this game close. That's really what we want from Patrick Mahomes. In this first matchup against Cincinnati, that Cincinnati won. That second half was really the difference in the game. Patrick Mahomes started out two, 252 passing yards, two touchdowns, and then they only scored three points in the second half. Now, Tyree Kill was just coming off of the COVID list. We think that he's fully healthy. They're getting Clyde Edwards Lair back and in the mix he's healthy jerk mckinnon has absolutely looked like a you know a stud at the position and daryl williams you know shockingly or not shockingly daryl williams you know this guy he was a, a stud for them put up a hundred yards uh i believe from scrimmage and two and a touchdown in or two in that game uh the first game against cincinnati so without daryl williams being in the mix maybe patrick mahomes is relied on a lot uh you're looking at you know pairing him with tyreek hill and kelsey makes it easy to do and then the Cincinnati defense only having to play against Derek Carr and Ryan Tannehill thus far. In the regular season, they faced the fifth most passing attempts um, from quarterbacks and also allowed the sixth most passing yards. So you absolutely love Patrick Mahomes in this matchup. $8,800 worth it to pay up for for a championship weekend for your DFS studs lineup. Let's talk about the running back position. And, you know, running back's interesting this week. We got Joe Mixon at the top, who's $8,200. Then you got Elijah Mitchell, who's 7000 And then Jarek McKinnon and Cam Akers, both priced at 6200 I think makes for an interesting play at the running back position. I'm going to talk about... Eli Mitchell here, who's 7,000, maybe he's getting forgotten about because just what Debo Samuel has kind of meant to this team and him being a rusher, uh, we saw him kind of leave the Green Bay game, getting injured, taking a, a helmet to the knee. So we, you know, he's back at practice thus far early on in this week as we're recording this video on Wednesday, but he could be, you know, he could be limited or they might try and use utilize different ways and bring in Eli Mitchell, who, you know, in two games already against the Rams, this guy's had 48 carries. Um, he didn't get, you know, the touchdowns that you want to see in that game, but we know that he has a red zone role just along with uh, with Debo. We know that they're going to limit Jimmy Garoppolo for having to throw and make and make mistakes. I mean, this guy, you know, it, it's hard for him to get 20 passing attempts against this team because they like to control the football. And we just saw what the 
Buccaneers wanted to do on the other side of the ball, get the run game going with Leonard Fournette. Leonard Fournette absolutely smashed last week. We look at Eli Mitchell and just the the hold that he has on this backfield. They're not putting any other running back back there besides, you know, these, these short yardage plays that they give to Kyle Juszczyk. So you're looking at getting a guy with all this equity and in the second game of the slate, I think that a lot of people might look to play Clyde edwards helaire or might look to play Jarek McKinnon, especially if they're not playing Patrick Mahomes to try and get leverage there. And I really think the leverage is to be had by just playing Eli Mitchell, who, you know, is, is for all intents and purposes, makes makes this team go. Um, and I think they'll be leaning on him heavily to kind of keep the ball out of Matthew Stafford's hands and get a win, which San Fran has had success against this team and Sean McVay with six straight wins against the Rams, which is absolutely incredible. So uh, definitely love Eli Mitchell this week at $7,000. Uh, you're looking at 20 st- straight uh to, uh, six straight games with 20 or more carries. I think that he carries the load this weekend. Last but not least, if we're going to talk about Patrick Mahomes, we have to talk about a pass catcher to pair him with, and that's going to be Travis Kelsey, who comes in at $7,700 uh, on this slate. And, you know, when we're talking about Patrick Mahomes and the equity that Tyree Kill and, and Travis Kelsey have, you know, there's just no, there's just nobody else like them. I mean, you know, talk yourself into some Tyler Higby. I think, you know, jo- George Kittle can find himself in an interesting spot having success against this Rams defense a time or two before. Before, but with Travis Kelsey, if this guy finds the end zone pay dirt twice uh, in that early game, you know, you're going to be kicking yourself for not playing him. Uh, he's absolutely incredible. And, and this just goes back to when we were talking about wild card weekend and what people were, you know, trying to pay up for with Darren Waller is just this what the Cincinnati defense has allowed to tight ends. They've gave up the fourth most receptions, fifth most receiving yards, and seventh most fan duel points uh, per game to the tight end position during the regular season. So, you know, they just saw Tennessee, who doesn't utilize their tight ends all that much. Uh, they try to get Darren Waller going in that Raiders game in the Wild Card Week, and I think that the Chiefs are able to do so here uh, in this game. You're looking at Travis Kelsey having a five-touchdown streak, already has two touchdowns in the postseason thus far, absolutely uh, blowing up. And you absolutely love just the equity that him and Hill see on this team. I mean, it's so easy to pair these guys with Mahomes this week. It's hard not to do so. You're looking at them. They had to combine 293 targets in the regular season and Pringle, Hardman, D-Rob, and the running backs combined for 283. 10 less targets than just these two guys. Patrick Mahomes is looking for these guys in bunches and I think that he's going to definitely be looking at Travis Kelsey, get get over the top, get across the field, and uh, really take advantage of the Cincinnati defense. So love Travis Kelsey this week at his price tag and that is my final DFS stud for the weekend. Guys, again, if you if you appreciate everything that's happening over at the FanDuel YouTube channel, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We appreciate that. Interact with the videos. And again, hit that notification bell so you can catch when we go live. I hope you guys have a fun championship weekend slate. Get that money and make sure you're tuned in to all of the other content that will be coming through the FanDuel channel this week and weekend. Until then, peace. Mm-hmm.